What's going on, people? Against the internet? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. Today, I'm gonna to be starting a new hobby, and that's gonna be leathercraft. So, without further ado, let's get to it. What's up, people? Against the internet? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be starting a new hobby, and that's gonna be leathercrafting. Now you're probably wondering, dude, that's super random. Why the hell are you starting leather crafting out of all hobbies, especially now? Well, to be honest with you, two years ago, I really wanted to do this and kind of, you know, get started with making wallets and like leather products and whatnot, not for like commercial use or whatever, just for my own personal stuff. You know, I kind of made a lot of excuses, didn't have the motivation, didn't have the desire, had shoulder surgery, and I kind of decided I'll just do it another time. You know, two years down the line, it's 2023, and I'm going to Colorado next week to Breckenridge to snowboard. So I kind of figured, why not make this a video? Finally start this hobby. Never actually did anything leather creating type of portions ever in my life. So it's going to be interesting. So I have a couple things that I kind of planned, did my research, and we'll see if I can actually do this. So let's get started. So guys, I'm gonna be making a leather password wallet for today's video, and I got myself a pattern, which I obviously need to kind of mark up my actual leather. And here, I wanna give the credit to Hans Altilier. I think that's how you say it. But I'm gonna be, you know, making his specific wallet that he made. He has this in his channel. Feel free to link down below for his description of his YouTube channel. Loves this kind of content. Gave this out for a free PDF for non-commercial use. So I'm gonna give it a try. Seems simple enough. I got three stuff here. I got a coins, the actual card slot itself the exterior of the actual wallet. And then lastly, I have the interior of the wallet now too. Only three parts of this actual passport wallet, so it seems simple enough. I don't think I'm gonna screw up too badly, but I am a little scared because I only literally have one shot and because I only have enough leather for this specific video. So we'll see how this goes. So what my plan is here, I'm gonna be cutting all these papers. I'm gonna be posting it on these, like I pre-glued these index cards because I don't have poster paper. And I put them on here and then I'm gonna be using these to actually mark my actual leather because paper is pretty flimsy. Kind of scared, first time only, so uh, wish me luck. All right, let's get started. So I got my glue here. Let's start with the interior. Exterior. Nice. Let's start cutting this up. So now that I got all of these, I got the interior, I got the exterior, and I have now the card slot. Now it's time to just fine tune these on the edges here, and then you kind of get marking the leather itself. So let's get this a little more precise. This took a lot longer than it should have. So I finally finished cutting out these patterns out of these stupid index cards. It took a lot longer than it should have, but I really wanted to kind of take the time to cut these in a precise way in order to kind of make my life a little bit easier as I'm marking my leather. One thing I've learned as I kind of start a new hobby, a new type of thing in itself, if you learn the right way at the very beginning, you really spend the time to kind of know all that knowledge, you definitely probably end out in the right way as well as more of a finer product. So hopefully that kind of translates to, you know, taking a lot of these times and these stupid templates. So now that that's finished, I got two slabs of leather. Here I got a darker chocolatey color, you know, for my exterior of the wallet. And then here I have the lighter color for the actual interior of the wallet. So I think it'd be pretty nice this, if you could kind of see like the contrast of this with the actual wallet itself. So we'll kind of see how that kind of turns out in the end. Now that I kind of see it, 
think I might have more than one try. But, you know, I think I really want to just maximize this leather as much as possible. Maybe make another wall in the future for future videos or something. So let's try and be a one shot wonder. Let's mark these leather, like this leather with these patterns and then we'll go from there. Let's get started. I have the lighter, lighter leather here. So that to the side, exterior here, there. So over here, I have this thing called, I think it's called an awl. Kind of like a small toothpick leathering tool itself. Uh, I'm gonna use this to kind of mark the actual leather itself. It's kind of make it look better and then we'll go from there. Yeah, here's the interior. It looks sexy. Can I see that a little bit? Oh, etching is done. Oh, that took a lot longer than I should have. Finally finished marking these three pieces of leather. Here is my coin slot one. That turned out pretty good. Exterior one, that's obviously the easiest one. And lastly, I'm super proud of this one. This is the actual interior of the wallet. This inside took a lot longer because of itself, but looks pretty good, honestly, in the end. So my plan is here is to kind of pop, obviously, these all out uh, and cut them all up and whatnot. Then there, I'm gonna use this edge bevel, they call, to kind of make certain parts of the actual wallet itself a little more nicer in a sense. And then to kind of finish some certain parts of the actual leather to kind of smooth it out. I had this leather finish called Tokenol. It's really nice. Got this couple like two years ago and then it still hasn't dried up. So it's kind of nice. And then I'm going to use and kind of slick this out, which is called a wood slicker. Kind of cool. You kind of just do this type of action on the actual leather to kind of make the actual finish go in more into the leather, I think. So let's get going. All right, let's start out with the actual exterior of the wallet. I don't need this right now. Let's get this bad boy going. Good. What do you guys think? All right, that process took a lot longer to kind of do it itself, kind of kind them all up and then now using the token all to kind of smooth everything out with the wood slicker. So now my plan is, is to actually put them all together. So I'm gonna use some token all on the sides and then here, actually put them together. And then that's until, that's the process. And then I'm gonna put them all together, sew it up. And then um, hopefully I'll have a decent passport wallet that's not too messed up. So <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's finish this off.
All right, guys, so I finally finished that. It's time to sew. First time trying to sew. <laughs> All right, so I totally over, no, I mean actually underestimated how long this is gonna take. This portion of the actual wallet took me about an hour or so, or maybe a little less. Uh, it's already getting a little late. It's kind of actually two o'clock right now. I'm gonna, the plan is I'm gonna go to sleep and you know, I'm gonna clear off this thing, clean it up a little bit. Uh, so that tomorrow will be a little bit easier. You know, all I have left, I'm gonna do this whole entire thing and then I have to, you know, redo these corners a little bit. But overall, it's coming out pretty good. I'm kinda excited. I kinda really do like leather crafting. It's very therapeutic. I'm gonna pick off, off tomorrow. See you in a few seconds. All right, guys. This is day two of leather crafting a passport wallet. And I got news for you. The passport does not fit this wallet. Unfortunately, right when I was about to sleep, I wanted to check everything if it works and everything like that. The cards and like the whole like size of this wallet. You know, I already finished most of it. Like I stitched this whole portion, stitched these two. You know, I've already had to do some token all over here as well, but stitched the rest of all the sides and then I'm done. And obviously when I tried everything out, lo and behold, it doesn't fit and it kind of sucks. But you know, I'm still gonna finish this through. So my plan here for the rest of this video, if you want to keep sticking around, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of finishing up the sewing process, cleaning it up and everything, and then finishing my very first Leathercraft Passport wallet. Good news is, you know, I did figure out what the problem was and you know, I finally made another template version of all my, the rest of the leather I have left. So I am gonna make a new wallet in the end later on. You know, for the intent of this person, this video, I'm just gonna finish this wallet only. And then, you know, on my free time when I'm like chilling, I'm gonna be making this wallet on the side. So let's get started. Let's finish this up and let's get to it. Oof, I am finally done. It only took another hour of sewing and I'm not gonna lie, I think my sewing action has gotten a lot better. You know, I think I've learned some of my mistakes of what I've done during sewing and whatnot, but what do you guys think? You know, it's, it's finally, you know, all the stitching is finally over. Uh, as you can see, all the stitching all around. I think it turned out pretty good, or if I don't say so myself. Obviously it doesn't fit, but I think what my plan is is to kind of clean this up and then you know, make obviously these corners uh, a lot nicer so they're not like so pointy. Lather it up with some tokenol and we're finally done. So let's get to that right now. All right, guys, so after seven to eight hours of blood, sweat, and tears, literally like poke myself with a needle, here is my very first wall that I've ever made. What do you guys think? I think overall it turned out pretty decent. Definitely obviously areas where I feel like I definitely could improve on, but there are certain areas I feel like overall this whole entire wallet 
turned out pretty decent. There's definitely areas in this wall where I feel like I can definitely do a little bit better, you know, specifically like the card slot area. I could definitely use the edge beveler tool a little bit better to kind of make it a little more cleaner and everything. There's definitely portions of this thing where I sewed a little bit more, I guess a little not as good as as I want it to be. And I definitely feel like there's certain areas of this where it's not as even as all around. You know, one biggest mistake that I kind of really regret is that the fact that the size is the biggest problem. You kind of see it, it's obviously a lot smaller and it actually won't fit. So, you know, I'll fix that problem the next time around when I actually make a proper passport wallet. But that's kind of something I'll do on my own time. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think I did, pretty, I did a pretty decent job? I think I did a pretty decent job. So if you're into this type of stuff, I'd love for you to hit that like button. It definitely helps out me with the whole YouTube algorithm for this YouTube channel. You know, comment down below guys. I would love to hear if you think I did a decent job, you know, rate it one out of 10. I won't, I definitely won't get like butt hurt or anything. I think I did um, a decent job for what it is. You know, I'd love to hear it if you kind of think I should do other hobbies you know, different types of suggestions, comment down below. But if you're into this type of stuff, my whole entire journey, my vlogs, you know, just me picking up random hobbies and trying to kind of really like winging it and everything like this, love to hear it, love to kind of have you part of my journey and my life. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and God bless. Peace. Oh boy, I still cannot believe I actually screwed up this freaking the size difference. Look at that. It's like 80% of the whole thing. Oh man. The second one's gonna be pretty good, I feel like, though.